Okay, on the Matos, thanks again for tuning in to yet another video of Infamous coming at you live from the West Coast, yet again, San Jose, California. So let's go ahead and take a look at my audio system on my Lowrider S. So I saw a video where someone was talking about the different options on how to mount speakers. So this is what that's going to be called, all right? How to mount speakers, so the different options to mount speakers onto your Lowrider S. Now I thought about doing this video, of course, in front of the studio on my computer system i'll probably still do that somehow but i wanted to just kind of show you guys firsthand uh you know placement where to put stuff where to put the amp because there's just there's so many different options out there now like i said i did see this person's video and he had zero zero experience putting speakers on a bike uh, I, I just don't really, I think he did a little bit of research, but he, he doesn't have any first-hand experience, kind of like I do, all right? I've, I put speakers on all of my bikes. You guys can see the different options. I have two different options currently right now on my Lowrider S. We have the speaker pods, and then we have the, the FXRT fairing option. Not everybody's going to have this fairing. Not everybody's going to have that option to put them into their, into their bike, into their fairing, so... You also, like I said, you have the speaker pods. There's different ways to put it. There's different placements. We're, we're going to get into that. And, of course, I also have the Plex Audio. I had the Kuriakin Soundbar, the Road Thunder. I also, I currently still have that. I just don't have it on the bike. Uh, you know, and then, like I said, on my Metric Cruiser, I, you know, I, I put it, I put the amp in a different place. And then I put the speakers in a different place. And that's where it really comes down to how much... Do you want to spend on your system and you know the install how much time do you want to spend routing wires throughout the bike because you're not going to have placement here or there so let's get into man all right let's let's i mean there's just so many things to consider uh let's let's look at the different options as far as if you don't have an fxrt fairing kind of like i do so you could put the amp in different parts of the bike, all right? If you have saddlebags, you could put it on there. You could route the wire from, you could route the wire from the battery to the amp and then to your speakers. So that's how you'll have to route it. You have to connect to your uh, battery, fuse, of course, obviously, and then route that wire, I guess, underneath your, your fender and then route that wire down into here. So you'll have your amp in your saddlebag at all times. And then from there, you'll have enough wire to run, of course, the wire back through underneath the strut. There's also space on underneath this little strut here if you want to do that. Uh, you will have to run it, of course, underneath your fuel tank, kind of like what you see here. Here, let's go on this side. Maybe you guys will be able to see it. So then you'll have to run your, your lines like this underneath your full your underneath your fuel tank to your speakers if you're doing speaker pods all right so as far as the speaker pods there's many different sizes you have these which are four inch you also have the five and a quarter and you also have the six and a half inch uh speaker uh, speaker pods where they're they're enclosures for some reason these are called high towers these are the kicker uh, uh high towers and uh, like I said, you could get different. This one's a lot more adjustable. You guys can see they're all different as far as the mounting and the placement and stuff like that. Uh, these are mounted like this because I have to clear my fairing. You guys can see it's very, very tight once it's on full tilt. You can see, you know, barely enough room. I'm pretty sure the camera picks that up. There's barely enough room if you're positioned this way. Another benefit of having the speaker pods, I guess let's, let's focus on the speaker pods, is they're closer to you as the rider. Because depending on how far the speakers are, are placed, that's really going to affect the sound levels. These are 4 inch, they're smaller than the 5 and a quarter and the 6 inch, 6 and a half obviously, but they are closer to me. So that's going to improve the, the, uh, the sound as well. Because you get, you know, you get up to highway speeds and stuff like that, it really affects uh, the the sound. And I have the Kuriak and sound bar, the sound bar. Those are the closest one to my to my face to my rider position, but those are absolutely dog crap. The the Kuriak and sound bar, you can't hear those at highway speeds. I'm I'm telling you guys, even at 45 to 55 miles per hour, 
you'll have trouble hearing that that sound because there's there's small little speakers i think they're like one inch or two inch speakers in that sound bar but anyways back on the speaker pods i've had the three inch these are four inch i've had so many different uh you know types it, you know it really depends on the clearance on what you have you know if you have something mounted onto your your forks like a road warrior fairing or a windshield from memphis shades something that moves with the bike then you won't have to worry about the clearance this is a frame mounted fairing so as far as the frame mounted fairing that's why i really had to think about the placement of these speakers like i said they're not all going to be the same this one is is adjustable you could also remove this arm and get it closer to the uh to the bracket they have another one where they're just bent uh forward towards you they look pretty neat uh they're also black so it blends in but there's no uh there's i don't think there's any adjustability you might be able to tilt the speaker up or down you could do that with these you, you could tilt them up or down stuff like that you could also because they have the, the the arm you could move them you could do this setup with your speaker pots but you don't have anything to put your amp in all right you don't have anything to put your amp so like i said you can either put it in your saddlebag if you don't have saddle bags, here's another option. You have these bags, all right? I have a link on these. Uh, I've already made unboxing videos, but you could definitely use this. I think this would be the best one for this type of amp, depending on the size. They have amps as big as three inches. You know, they, they don't have a lot of power, but you know, a decent, um, a decent amp with enough power, you know, if, if you're looking at 400 watts, 600 watts, they would fit in this 100%. If you're looking at a, a boss system or a Bose, I think it's a boss system. If you're looking at a boss system, that amp is about maybe three inches. Uh, for that one, you could actually use a fork bag. And the fork bag, basically it mounts to your forks, to your triple tree. Uh, you, you guys can't see the triple tree on this because it's covered by the FXRT fairing. But you have the fork bag option. You could put it in there if you wanted to. Um, as far as routing wires, that would be actually the easiest method because you don't have to wire to your saddlebag back to the, to the bike. That would be the only thing you would have to do is just uh, run the wires from your fork bag or from this. You could put that, you know, you could put this in here and then hide your amp in this bag. Fork, fork bag or your handlebar bag, you could put it in there. And then you just have to run the power cable to your battery and you're pretty much set all your wires will, will be connected to your uh to your speaker pods pretty simple guys uh, as far as making the bracket on this you could actually just get an abs uh a abs uh, plate put it in there of course put the put the abs inside mount it to your amp put that inside and then of course you could also drill holes here you would have to drill a hole here so you could you know pull the the power cable out and all the wires your uh your speaker wires as well you could you could pull them out and then hide it pretty good in this little uh, handlebar bag i really like this one because this would fit pretty much anything option any option as far as you know motorcycle and stuff like that with this you could also drill holes on the back of this and put uh clamps that way you could you know that way there's no vibration in this thing you would just mount uh those clamps to your risers and they're like conduit uh clamps yeah i'll, I'll probably I'll, I'll try to find an image and uh yes you'll just drill it on here then put that onto there and then that pretty much solves that issue i do have a marine grade amp on this thing so it is vibration proof dust proof and all that other good stuff so i don't have to worry about vibration but if you're wondering with my setup i have a whole playlist fxrt audio playlist on the channel you guys can see how i mounted it i'm using a carbon fiber backing plate that's mounted uh to the fairing and then that's that's what mounts my uh my amp because it, it is a huge amp i have a 600 watt amp pretty huge it won't bolt onto the back of the fxrt frame people have done that but with my current amp because it's so huge it doesn't it won't work you also have uh clockworks they're making an amp bracket for these fairings as well you could buy it from them if you don't want to make your own kind of like what i did with the carbon fiber uh sheet that i got from amazon trimmed it up fitted it and it fits perfect onto my setup so like i said you can, i think this would be the best option put it in here 
you know, make a, a mounting surface to it, and then from there you can mount it to your risers, and that would hide it pretty good. Like I said, or you could run it down to your um, to your saddlebags. It's up to you. It'd be a much. It would be a lot easier for you to just do this method. So, as far as the uh, the price, there's also another option. We're talking about Plex Audio System. All right, they have brackets for many different fairings. Their fairings will fit on pretty much anything out there. They have brackets. They have universal brackets. They have FXRT, FXLRST brackets. They have you know so many different options. You could fit it on pretty much anything. If you guys see my Sportster, I currently have the Plex Audio with the FX LRST fairing and it fits fantastic. It's a perfect fit. Even even though it is a frame mounted fairing with the FX LRST fairing, uh, there's still clearance with the Plex Audio and the fairing. So it's fantastic. It's an enclosed unit. Uh, you know, it'd be the same thing. You just have to run your power cable to your battery because the amp and the speakers, they're all connected together in its uh, housing in the Plex audio system. Um, you know, they do have the XL currently. I think it's sold out for the most part. But as far as their XL, they have six and a half inch speakers, which is pretty impressive. And as far as installation, I'm not entirely sure. The Plex audio that I do have is, a, 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 it does have a button for you to turn it on and turn it off. The XL, I'm not entirely sure if they have an extra wire so you could tap into your accessory on. And so when you turn the bike on, kind of like what I have with my bike, you can see my JVC system connect automatically. So, you know, that's connected to the amp. You have your RC uh, cable, which is your blue cable, and that connects to wherever. I think, I believe mine is tapped into the, uh, the uh, running lamp. Because I do have some wires over here uh, for my uh, for my uh, my LP6, I have uh, I have relays and I tapped into that so I could connect it to my amp so that turns on the amp. If I were to tap it into the battery, then my amp would be always on, and that's not what I wanted. So I believe the the Plex Audio XL has an additional wire, kind of like the Kuriakin the Kuriakin. Uh, uh, sound bar you have three wires you have your ground your 12 volt and then of course you have your orange cable which is your accessory on and you would have to tap that into a blue wire which is your running lamp it's throughout the whole bike you have a blue wire on your tail light you have a blue wire to your to your turn signals you have a blue wire uh, it's just it's everywhere it's, it's your daytime running lamp so you would have to tap in there. It's I know it's a little scary for for most people that don't know how to wire stuff. But I do have an install video for the for the Kuriakin uh, soundbar, and that should help you figure out where to put it. So those are the options. Fairing, you can pretty much put it in there. You also have the Plex Audio, which is I I do like. Uh, the Kuriakin soundbar, I'm not a huge fan of because of the price and how it sounds. It doesn't sound as clear as the Plex Audio, and it doesn't sound as clean as your own system or as uh, FXRT system. It doesn't sound anywhere as clean. The, and you also have the, the, the Bose, the Boss. You also have the Boss option, which is pretty much the cheapest one out there. But, man, that thing gets so distorted, it's not even worth installing it. All right. Uh, any, anything over 50%, 60% volume, yeah, volume, I keep on mixing them up, volume, volume. Anything over 60% volume, they get super distorted. It's just not worth installing that $100 option. Yes, you have the, the pods, it's a 3-inch speaker, but in, in all honesty, I just don't think it's worth, you know, putting in all that work, you know, figuring out where to put your amp, Figuring out where to place the, the speakers and the pods and all that stuff. It's just not worth it once you have all, everything said and done. You're better off just doing the um, the uh, the in speakers in your helmet. And that's another option. All right. You have you have a lot of good options. You have the Cardo Pack, which is the one I like. That's the one I own. You have the Cardo Pack where you could just put them into your, into your helmet. And you don't have to worry about doing all of this mess. With the wiring, feeding wires through your frame, feeding wires through your um, to your battery, finding uh, you know the right wire to tap into, stuff like that. That would be by far the easiest. Would be just 
setting up your cartel pack, putting that in there. I believe you have about five to six hours of play time, which is pretty significant. It's very, it's you know, it's very impressive. It's really good. Uh, you know, the only issue would be you would have to, of course, charge the battery, remove it. If you have rides above six hours, then you know you'll be riding without uh, with without your your audio system for for a couple of minutes or a couple of hours. Uh, you could also, of course, hook it up to your USB-C, have it charging that way, but I'm not sure if it's if it's going to work. But uh, you know, those are your options. Um, these are both great. You know, the speaker pods they sound great. Uh, I really don't. I don't know. I mean, people want to hear these on the videos, but it just doesn't do any, any justice. You can't really hear how loud they get. But from my rider position, which is right here, with this current setup, I'm hitting 114, 115 decibels from here to here at max volume. At max, which is pretty loud. And of course, I also have the extra wind protection on this thing. So as far as wind noise, I can really hear my tunes you know pretty good at 90 100 miles per hour i could hear my tunes the full time uh the plex audio system it gets a little bit iffy because of uh you know the sportser and then i think uh, i was still able to hear my tunes at 97 but i mean it was just barely i think the xl plex audio system will improve on the sound but uh you know I think the Plex Audio, you're pretty good. Like, it really depends on your wind protection. I think for the most part on the Plex Audio, you're good up to maybe 70 miles per hour, 80 miles per hour. You know, once you hit speeds of 90, that's when you could kind of hear it. I mean, if you if you recognize the song and you know the lyrics, you could pretty much hear it. But if you don't, then you really don't know what you're playing at those, uh, you know, speeds. This setup right here, it's fantastic. It was 600 watts. Like I said, you could really tweak it to your to your liking. You could set up your own amp. You have a lot of different uh, options when it comes to a setup like this. Like I said, you could also do the six and a half uh, speaker pods, but you know, depending on that setup, you would have to mount it on onto your uh, handlebars because there's only so much. You know, depending on the riser setup that you guys have. Like I said, there, there's a lot of different things. Uh, and that's you know one of the other things do you want speakers mounted to your handlebars do you want you know the speaker pod at six and a half inches down here I mean is that gonna look good uh, you know it, it, I mean it really depends on what you want like I said you also have um, you know your setups maybe you have uh, maybe you have ape hangers maybe you have a shorter riser kind of like stock you have about four inches to play with you know before the clamp the top clamp you have you have a couple you know inches to play with as far as the placement of the speakers there's a lot of things to consider you know six and a half might not fit with some of your guys just set up but you could definitely mount it to your handlebars but then you'll have the speakers you know somewhere's here or somewhere or somewhere's here depending on how you mount it but uh, that's yeah that's how you mount speakers onto your bike uh, there's also folks that have mounted them onto your crash bar, like kind of like what you what you see here. You could definitely put them down there, but you know, as far as being able to hear them, you, you can't hear them down here anymore. I mean, if you're doing 40 miles per hour, you kind of drown out the, uh, the the sound because you're sitting on top of the bike and they're down here. You really don't hear them. You know, you really have to put them somewhere in this area for you, for you to enjoy the speaker. So. Hey, hopefully that helps. You know, just give you guys some ideas. Like I said, I think the uh, the speaker, uh, the handlebar bag is your best option. Will be your best bet for most of your guys' uh, bikes. There's also another little setup that I like to kind of throw in there would be the RWD uh, uh, TXR. The RWD TXR fairing option. They do have uh, the fairing that you could fit six and a half speakers. And they also have a little bracket for your amp, which is pretty neat. So that's pretty much it. We'll we'll, uh, we'll do some studio audio stuff. That way, I could show you the uh, web page and show you you know the different options when it comes to the audio system. So you know, I don't know. We'll, we'll see if if I 
do include that the video is going to be so much longer maybe i'll make a whole video and uh like i said i think the plex audio would be the easiest installation because it's all in one system you don't have to figure out where you're going to put your your amp you don't have to figure out how you're going to route your wires and stuff like that of course you guys can see my amp i have a bluetooth con well, it's not a bluetooth connector but it is a remote for the amp the marine grade of course you could also buy this amp without this little connector but i really like this uh this bluetooth connector because I, I don't have to get into my phone every time i want to you know change the volume on my bike or the track equalizer there's a lot of different things i really like the uh the jvc amp and especially because it's it's vibration proof and it's also dust proof so it's perfect for a harley davidson because it has a ton of uh, vibration and it has a lot of you know there's a lot of little things here and there that could affect and you know cause issues to your amp so life's a risk thanks for tuning in thanks for watching yet, an, uh, yet another video hopefully you guys have a better idea how you how you want to go with your setup so nice risk out there right later